we've already taken a real fast look at these. Let me say just a, a little bit longer look right now, and then we'll come back and do longer demonstrations later on. We kind of glossed over these fairly quickly. Let me just pull the right side in a little bit better here so I can see that. There we go. We have three of these. We have the quick, the guided, and the expert. I normally work in expert because I have the most choices in expert. But going into quick, in here you can do several adjustments or effects. In here, let that just load in for a second. There's our effects or textures or frames. And you can just quickly see what it looks like. As you can see down here's a little lithograph look. And then you have some alternatives, just a little, little drop down arrow. So it's quick because you can just come in here and say, okay, I kind of like that one right there. And it will apply that effect. So it's real fast, real quick way to do some of these different looks, different effects, different textures, different adjustments. So for you know real easy access, as you can see here, it's a real simple way and real visual way of working with these different options, your adjustments, your effects, your textures, and your frames. Even though you know I'm a pro at doing this stuff, I've been using elements for practically forever, I still come back occasionally to the quick tab because it's just the easiest place to do some of these things. Like the smart fix, just real easy to come in here and do some of these adjustments right from the quick tab. Well, let me just undo that and we'll back up a step. There we go. The guided one is a little more complex. It actually walks you through the process. Let's take a look at our levels in here. So this gives you information, as you can see, talks about how it's done. And there's a little before, and there's after. So you can see the before and the after effect on that. So it talks about how it is that you're done, or what it is that you're doing, and, and what it's going to look like. And then it allows you to actually come in and then adjust those levels. You even make a new layer for in here for, make, for putting this kind of level adjustment, for instance, just as an example or I can reset the image back to its default. I can cancel that. So it's kind of a, a combination of helping you do the process and teaching you about it, actually, actually teaching you how to do these steps right here inside of the program. So that's our touch-up section. Click on that little arrow right here. It collapsed that. We have touch-ups, photo effects, camera effects, and photo play. So all these are real easy to use, and the guided tab walks you through the process and explains what it is you're doing. So you have you know, more of a learning experience in here. It's a very, very good way to actually learn a lot of the techniques and why they work. And finally, the expert sitting over here gives you complete access to all of your tools, all of your controls, and everything is done manually with no descriptions in there, but once you learn the program, this is all real easy to do, real easy to use this stuff. It's not a difficult program to use. You can use some auto stuff. Go back here to the Enhance. You have our auto settings in here, Smart Tone, Smart Fix, Levels, Contrast, and so forth. So you still have fast access to some auto, but again, you can always go back and back to your Quick Setting or back to your Guided or Expert and use whichever one of these is the best choice for whatever the current step you're working on at the time. You can use all three on the same picture. You're not limited to just working in one of these. It's just three different ways of approaching your workflow and you can use all of them or any one of them in any picture that you're working on and you can use all three in the same picture if that's what you want to do. So you can go back and forth. So that, there you go. Just a fast look then and we'll come back and spend some more time on these and I'll give you more actual demonstrations on using these different edit techniques in a later section of this training. Okay, that then finishes off our quick run through. So you now should have a good idea where everything is kind of sitting inside of the program. And we can go back and I'll begin taking a little more time and getting into a little more detail on all these different steps, starting with the next section. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. 
You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.